Good evening. I will be addressing the issue of uh, school board member compensation because it does relate to the ongoing uh, directors of the school board. Um, there are three primary reasons why I will vote uh, to continue zero compensation for you board members tonight. And basically it's because I do not feel as a group you are doing your job well. Uh, first, for the board to have no response to over 90 employees that last spring described, and described an atmosphere of fear, intimidation, and underappreciation in the teacher survey is simply unacceptable. Uh, it's not the environment that I want my children, uh, teachers, to work in, and it's unfortunately because of human nature, it's not the environment that I want my children uh, to be taught. Second, for the board to have over no response, to, for the board to have no response to over 12 exit interviews describing basically the same thing that you learned about eight months ago in the teacher survey is also unacceptable. Losing many highly respected and marketable employees is not okay with me. And while you can hope that we will replace them with other very talented and marketable employees, we do not know once they start to feel the same things that those previous employees felt, if they'll stick around. Uh, teaching positions should not be a revolving door. Third, to spend over 50,000 additional dollars on employee health care is also unacceptable. You could have purchased the so-called Cadillac Health Plan from the WEA Trust for $50,000 less over the two-year two period, but you chose not to. I've been monitoring these uh, website. It's uh, the Waterford Taxpayers Association. I, I monitor that because I keep waiting to see a post. I see that several of you uh, participate on that website. Yet, there's nothing on there about wasting $50,000 of the taxpayer's dollar. I'll be, I'll be looking for that. Um, to conclude, I'm sure that each of you feel you are doing a good job as a group. Again, I, I just can't agree. However, I'm a reasonable person, and I think most of the people that are upset about this issue are as well. And if you simply change the atmosphere in the buildings that my daughter attends and that my friend's children attend, and if you save the district and the employees that $50,000 over the next two years by switching to the health insurance plan that is, by everybody's estimation, a better plan and for $50,000 less, I'll be happy to reinstate the normal board annual compensation. Thank you.